。关于你第二个问题呢，我都只能简单的用最简单的语言来回答你，就是对未来五到十年中国的经济发展，我保持谨慎的乐观，或者说我不那么悲观。So to answer your second question about the next five to ten years Chinese economic uh, development, I would say I'm prudently optimistic, or rather I would say I'm not so pessimistic. So, in relation to your third question, I will tell you that in the past few months, I have heard a speech in a public meeting. You may be able to find it. Basically, these few words i 有人说，当时说很危险，我说并没有那么危险。那么也有人说，中国经济发展会掉到多少多少，中国经济发展很危险。我说也没那么危险。那么危险是什么？我说了两句话，说中国最大的危险是不改革，中国更大的危险。是改革往回走。So um, on your third question, uh, uh, recently I, I was in a conference uh, in Beijing. In fact, I said something, and you probably can read it from the have seen it from the internet, because there are people who were talking about the Chinese stock market and said, "Oh, at that time it was so dangerous. You no, know, it was in a crisis." I said, "No, it's not so dangerous." And people say, "Oh, China's economic development is already going downhill, and it's really dangerous." You know, I said, "No, it's not so dangerous." And I said, um, what is the greatest danger that China is facing? Uh, China's, uh, I feel that the greatest danger that China is facing is that it doesn't reform. That would be one of the dangers it doesn't um, uh, facing. The second, even greater danger is that it goes backwards, that it moves back from reform. And on the stock market situation is something that I wouldn't, um, I really don't like to reply in uh, recently. Because first, and the reason why I don't want to comment about the, on the stock market is because, first of all, it's a very sensitive issue. Secondly, and that is always people who are criticizing. There are some people who make money from the stock market and they'll be very happy, and there are some who lose and they'll be not very happy, and there's always people who will be criticizing. But in the year of the and so on the 25th, Third of uh, May, I was in Tsinghua University because um, we are trying to give out the Shun Yue Fang Financial Innovation Award. And um, 那么在这个大家都知道，你只要是开记者招待会，就像今天我到这儿做讲座一样，就没有人不会提到股市问题。And there was um, and there was a press conference, and you know when there's a press conference, that people will always ask questions about stock markets. So, in the audience, twenty two reporters, you you how to say how to say, their problems are all the stock market. You say I don't talk about the stock market, they come again and ask about the stock market. And so, you know, at the press conference, because it was an award ceremony, there's many reporters, and the twenty two reporters, and we said, okay, we don't want to talk about um, the stock market, and they go one round, a few questions, they come back to stock market again, a stock market question again. 但是呢，对股市呢，我从来不对行情发表意见。就是别人问我，股市是要涨啊，还是要跌啊，我永远是不会说的。但是呢，对股市的一些原则问题，我觉得还是应该说的。所以那天有有人说，哟，大家注意啊，是五月二十三号，是中国股市最牛的时候。那么有很多记者就问，说这一次的牛市是不是国家牛市？我听了这个问题呢，我觉得我必须回答，因为这是一个常识范围的事情。我说，国家牛市的概念十分危险，它是一个陷阱。所以这我这几句话呢，当然我还讲了一些观点，就是和这个相关的观点。当时在五月二十三号以后，大概有十多天里，这个中国的各大传媒、电这个网站上面都几乎都在登我这句话。So. 
Uh, what I really want, don't want to comment is um, about to, to, to predict or to comment on the market situation, whether it's going up or it's going down. But to talk about the principles of the stock market, I'm very willing to. And on the 23rd of May, it was actually a bull market, and the reporters were asking me, okay, bull market, is it a national bull, you know, that we are seeing a national bull market? Then I thought, okay, this is not very appropriate, so I think I need to answer the question because it's a question of general knowledge. And, and it's also very dangerous, I think, if we do not address this um, problem because I think it's a trap that people are falling into. And, um, and said I, I gave my opinion, I, I gave my, my two cents worth, and for the next 10 or days, in fact, the, the internet was uh, full of um, the comment that I made. 那么我就说股市的游涨就一定会落对吧涨的是叫牛市跌的是叫熊市哦你牛市你说这是国家的功劳但但牛市以后变成熊市是谁的罪过呢那你怎么交代呢所以我说不管是牛市还是熊市你不